the ubiquitous Maruti Suzuki Wagon R has been one of India's most popular hatchbacks, and not without reason. When originally launched in 99, it came with a peppy and fuel-efficient engine, lots of headroom and extremely practical interiors. And that included a segment-first reclinable rear seats. After a string of updates over the years, Maruti has finally launched the latest third-generation Wagon R in India. How good is it? Is it any better than before? What's not good about it? Let's find out. The best part about the new Wagon R's design is that it still looks like a Wagon R. Even though the underpinnings and the design is all new, Maruti has still managed to retain the original car's boxy lines. Up front, the wide grille flanked by the tall headlamps looks striking and the wider dimensions make it look more hunkered down. At the rear, the wider body helps it look more conventional than before and the bigger tail lamps add a bit of spice to an otherwise plain design. Overall, we like how the new Wagon R looks. We loved how you could just walk in and out of the old Wagon R and you'll be glad to know it's the same with the new car. Once inside, you're greeted by a cabin that looks and feels a lot more contemporary. The dual-tone dash looks good, with its highlight being the 7-inch infotainment screen. You also get a mix of vertical and round vents for the aircon. The instrument console is also an interesting mix of an analog speedometer and a digital rev counter. Overall, it's a well-thought-out cabin with easy-to-reach controls. Now coming to the seats, the front seats feel comfortable and offer good support, so those long hours during office commutes should be a comfortable affair. But it's the rear seats that are the real stars. Thanks to the better body and better packaged interiors, the car can easily accommodate three adults at the back in good comfort. The rear bench itself is well shaped and the upright backrest gives good support. What would have made the rear seats even better is better under thigh support and adjustable headrest. Wagon R comes with two petrol engine options. One is the older 1 litre K10 engine, while uh, the other one that we're driving here is the 1.2 litre K12 engine that also does duty in the Maruti Swift. Also, we're driving the AMT version here. Even with the AMT gearbox, the Wagon R feels quite peppy. The motor is responsive and has a linear pull from low engine speeds, which makes it a great city commuter. Sound insulation though isn't that great, as the engine gets noisy past 3500 RPM and there is a lot of noise seeping in the cabin as well. The AMT gearbox is well tuned too and is smooth for most of its operation, but it does show its elementary roots when you really need to get going. The area where the Wagon R has matured the most is ride quality. Over any surface, at any speed, the Wagon R feels unfazed, and the refined suspension simply goes about its job, keeping you isolated from the biggest of potholes. It's only at low speeds that you feel some stiffness, and the sharp bumps do jar you a bit. The steering too feels direct enough as you dart between traffic. The stiffer and lighter chassis has endowed the new Wagon R with far better dynamics compared to its predecessor. The new Wagon R then is a job done well by Maruti Suzuki. They've retained the iconic design, it's got plenty of space, a good feature list and you even have engine and gearbox options to choose from. With prices starting at Rs 5.89 lakhs for the 1.2 litre variants, the Wagon R is a lot of car for the money.